Okay, the Burlington City Council will take up on a vote whether or not to mandate masks in the city again. This comes after the governor signed a bill allowing Vermont communities to create their own mask mandates. NBC 5's Lauren Granada is live right now in Burlington to break down what this could mean if the council approves this new mandate. Well, Sarah Beth, if you walk around town here, you'll see that most stores have signs like this posted on their front door saying that you need to wear a mask unless you're vaccinated. But tonight, if City Council approves a mandate again, regardless of your vaccination status, you'll need to carry one of these around with you everywhere you go. I think it'll make everybody more comfortable. It's a sentiment most businesses around the Queen City share, hoping City Council reinstates a citywide mask mandate. I just think it's the right thing to do for the winter, especially inside and in public areas, you know. At Willow's Bakery on South Union Street, the cafe will soon be allowing customers back into its store now that the cold temperatures are here. We've been masked the whole way through. I'm certain we will stay requiring masks to come in. However, Burlington Mayor Moreau Weinberger's proposed mask mandate would exempt businesses with a proof of vaccination requirement, exempt vaccinated workers who don't interact with the public, and exempt places of worship and schools within the Burlington School District. I'm not thrilled because I know we also thrive on human contact and relationship. And although neighbors aren't so excited about the thought of masks making a comeback. If it's in uh, the purpose of keeping people safe and that's the actual outcome, then it makes the most sense. Some locals say they'll be ready. With the new, like, uh, what's it called? The, Omicron. Yeah, Omicron. It's probably a good idea. Now, if council reinstates a mask mandate in Burlington, it'll be the third community in Vermont to do so behind Brattleboro and Warren. Tonight's meeting begins at 515 at City Hall, and we will keep you updated throughout the night. We're live in Burlington. Lauren Granada, NBC5 News.